that. Have you played Augusta yet? Yeah. What's that like? I mean, that's like a dream for me. Someday you got to take me there. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the list, isn't it? It's on can the we, list. Can we pencil that in? <laughs>
a few years ago where mm -hmm. he was putting way, way left and the hole was way right. <laughs> so just like baseball players, I'm sure you guys have superstitions or, or lucky things that you like to do in preparation for the game or the day before, maybe what you have for breakfast before. Do you have any of those? You seem like um, a pretty go easy guy. I, I have like six T's in my right pocket. Really? And then I have a divot fixer on my left and a quarter, but like a quarter that's like the heads and tails, not like a state coin or anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and that's always been with you. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. What happens if you forget one of them? <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got multiple quarters in my bag. Oh, just in case. Yeah. Uh, good for you. Yeah. Okay. There's always backups. I'm sure there's a story behind that, isn't there? Uh, I don't know. I probably played well when, I, when it was like that or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've heard about some guys like Tiger, I think, always wore red on Sundays, right? Uh, that didn't work for him, of course, obviously. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your hobbies. I mean, get, so we can get to know you a little bit and probably get into some of your tastes with watches as well, but mm -hmm. you're a pretty fashionable guy. We're, we're noticing what you're wearing today. Uh, tell us a little bit about your you know, yourself. Yeah, I mean, when I'm at home, I, you know, I could be on the road, I like kind of just chilling out, hanging. So I play a lot of video games. It's also yeah. a good way to like reconnect with like friends, you know, back home. Um, or just like, it's kind of like hanging out, I'd say, because you're on the, on the comp, comms mm -hmm. with the headset and then um, just playing video games. You can uh, dome out, right? Yeah. What's your favorite video game? Play Call of Duty. Call of Duty, yeah. of course, right? <laughs> My son's gonna love to hear you say that. Uh, he's on it almost every night when he can. Not not as much anymore, mm -hmm. but uh, siblings, brothers, sisters. One older brother. Older brother. Yeah. Does he play golf as well? I uh, used to. Okay. I uh, played collegially a couple years. Okay. Division two, and then. Um, He's a caddy up at Bandon Dunes. Okay. He's That's caddied for me a few times. Okay. How much, talking about caddies, and I know they switch around a little bit here and there, they've got a big influence on your game, mm -hmm. right? Who's your caddy today and right now? And how long has he been with you? Tim Tucker. He's uh, been with me since waste management. Good guy. Yeah, really good. good. How do you describe your personal style? Is, is that a legit question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say when I'm on the, golf course you know there's like a little more flare colors but when I'm back home it's fairly simple more like a lot, a lot of black what about sneakers a lot of the guys are really big in the sneakers too are you a sneaker guy as well yeah a little bit I like uh, I like wearing Jordans you okay. know never probably. heard of them but <laughs> <laughs> that must be a new line <laughs> so Kurt tell us uh, your first luxury watch your first purchase what was it tell us a little bit about it um, it was actually this year, uh, Black Submariner. Excellent. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, always wanted to... Did you spend time picking out which one you wanted, what model, or did you already know it was I think I, I think that's what I knew I wanted. You know, that's like a good, I think, start for me to get into the watch game a little get bit. Get you going, right? Yeah. You know, when I interviewed Kevin O'Leary, he talked about the disease and about how the, once you start collecting watches, it grows on you and they're incredible you know, items to put on your wrist and, and fashionable and, you know, functional and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So we got to get you going more into watches. What's next on your list for watches? Um, what, uh, probably it's going to be another Rolex, I think. Tell us, tell us why Rolex. We think it's a good answer, by the way, <laughs> but we just want to hear, we want to get your take on why. Um, I think just like a classy watch that I can kind of wear with anything. Because keep winning tournaments. <laughs> You can buy one a week if you want. <laughs> yes, right. Thank you, and thank you, by the way, very much for joining us. We're we're happy to have you. But what's it like being part of our family, the Bob's Watches family? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm very thankful. It's, this is awesome because, you know, it's probably an experience that like no one really gets to, you know, have try on so many different nice watches, and especially for me, like just getting into it, learning more about what I might like and. Um, being able to showcase it for you guys too is, is awesome. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're happy to do it. Uh, the plan is to get you a really cool watch every week to wear. <laughs> and so just don't lose one. Just don't lose <laughs> one. Right. Kurt, thanks so much for joining us. We're happy to have you. We're super excited. And uh, uh, thank you very much. Yep. Thank you for having me. Yeah.